guys, it's Kiki and Kiki was you. Welcome back to another video! <laughs> so in this video, I just wanted to come to you guys. I told you I'm still gonna be in this car, it is what it is. But I just wanted to um tell you something. I feel like I'm in a really good season with God right now and I love it. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. But sometimes it can be hard to get here or to be in these seasons with God because it's like man, it's fleeting, like it's not gonna last long. But I feel and I feel like that happens. But a good thing to do um, is to keep the gospel personal. So we can sing these songs, we can read the scriptures and everything, and it can be so far because we can sometimes see what God is doing for other people, but we forget what God has already done for us. And it sometimes it it makes it hard when we get in those seasons and we feel like, man, like God's not hearing my prayers or God isn't answering or he isn't giving me what I want um, or whatever the case may be, man. Just keep the, the gospel personal. Know that... The gospel is for everybody, but it also is for you. So even in those times where you realize, man, I've been so about myself. I've been so like self-serving and man, just self, just all right, selfish, man. It's like the gospel is still for me. It still redeems me. Even though like that, that still sounds selfish. I know, I know that's selfish still, but it, it can help your heart get in a different place than just being out here, um, complaining. At least that works for me become like desensitized to the gospel as I continue to like share the gospel with people and it's like yeah you know God does this and God does that because even today Pastor was talking about um how people for have already forgotten about like Aretha and it just happened or now it's on Cap and Nike and how people have forgotten um all of the events that have happened in this year already and it's because people don't make it personal so you gotta keep that personal and make sure that you keep um the gospel personal to you so you know man yes um, it happened, you know, it's something that happened forever ago, but it also happened when you first believed it happened for you all over again. Like you understood what happened that day and it should be like a constant, a daily thing where you're like, man, you know what? I might not feel as close to God this morning, but I know that the gospel is still true for me. So I mean, just trying to, man, still see God in those dry spots and them dry seasons and know that, man, just keeping them close. Keeping God close. And, man, when you share the gospel, I feel like it's good to share your testimony when you share the gospel. Because it reminds you of what God has done for you. Because, man, sometimes when you haven't shared your testimony in a minute, it can be hard um, and easier to look at what God is doing for everybody else versus what he's done for you and what he's doing for you. Man, I share my testimony sometimes. And, man, be dang near in tears. Be like, Lord, you you actually love a nigga. You love me. You you love me. What? Man, it break my heart every time I think about it. All the, and as I'm going through all this with my daddy issues, it's just reminding me. It's like, man, God still loves me, even though like I don't I don't feel lovable at all. Um, He still loves me. I feel like this is off too. So I feel like this is probably a good angle for y'all. But I'm sitting like this. But it's whatever. Y'all watching the video? Um, yeah, that was short, simple. I ain't got much. Keep the gospel personal. This is, this is something I'm remembering in this season of my life. Um, see y'all next one. <laughs> Peace.